welcome back to let's say Final Fantasy 14 episode 92. Final prayer. Are these like pieces of Delmud or whatever? When you kneel before the mark of the warden in a moment of quiet solitude, you breathe deep of the dry desert air. One of the rushing waters is punctured by the faint chirping of Valken, show the cries of a hawk. That's why it remains silent. Aren't they always? down here anyways. Wow, this place just has so many exits, doesn't it? Whatever, I'm literally here, so... The fuck are you talking about? I believe that's one symbol that's the current, you know, important um, quest thing done. I had everything people going to death from you, even as they may deny your prayers. They provided comfort to your fallen brethren. And although the body is but a vessel, that one must say be certain to life stream. Okay. Our soul shall endure, and the righteous shall find souls in Thal's room. Here's uh, one of the signs we perish at the waking sands. You can perform rights for most signs, there's one whom we can accept. Turn this to one of our people, the Sylphs of Little Solas. Well, that should be given the care of our friends and family so that we may mourn our occurrence of Sylphic traditions. That's fair. Wait, was Naraxia the one who, um. Like, we spoke with? Here's an idea.
to those flying mounts. I was wondering about that. I think we did this like yesterday. Uh, maybe not that. Well, I don't know if it was yesterday or not. Why is he walking on so low? How can these ones assist walking one? No, actually, but this one does not ascend. Yeah, this one had much wailing. This one, no. This one will know what has caused such distress. Because Elder, right? Yeah. No, this Elder one's an awful one. I was doing a little souls, but why? These ones have not requested further aid. <coughs> Actually, how did this happen? Explain everything to this one at once. So not only in Erexia, but many of Walker One's friends were lost as well. Erexia. I went to Thunder Line on the behest of this one. I went with an creature and tell this one that Erexia was brave. When Erexia did not suffer. She suffered, but... Uh, I hear Walker One's words. She sure as fuck was brave, though. I think you're ringing Norexia home, Walker One. These ones also wish to thank Praying Ones. Tell Praying Ones this one will remember this kindness. The man's vengeance. Beer Ones was pain. Beer Ones must suffer. How comes Walker One's face and Beer Ones? Do not forget these ones. No, no, I have Norexia's death beef or not. These ones will fight. Thank you for your service to the church in the sylphs. You may be pleased to know that in your sense we can turn the remaining science into the chard. We still wish you to more for your friends, so I will remind you that you've already done so much on behalf. Rest and set aside your burdens for now, Zyphrum. Yep, uh, looks like who I think it is. He's being watched. Uh oh. I imagine it's after my no I'm being watched. No, no, not the girl. I know about her. No, this is different. Sinister. And if I'm under observation. Comes and goes, but I fell one of the last adventure outside. Yes. Oh, will you look outside for me, please? We'll only take a moment. How long ago was it that I used the, um, Geisha Green on him? Oh, great. Oh, I get, um, that by doing the synchronicities. We survived long enough so I can actually see how this works. Hmm. Oh, does HP. Okay, that... No, I don't know if that lasts. 
And it's because they know. Or that... I don't know... Hmm. You know what? I think because they know that I'm here. <clears throat> but Camp Drybone and all this, the church and all that, is just too much of a conspicuous place. And plus, you know, they'd be killing just me. And... um. Not everyone else and just, you know, their enemy and... Or, I don't even know where their enemy, necessarily. <clears throat> you attacked, weren't you? Are you in harm? Thank the gods. No, he was watching me. Why was he watching me? What do you want with me? Did he perhaps know something of my past? If only I could have asked him. I, I need to think. Please tell me a moment alone. Wait, Father Ill must favor this. Will you tell him for me? Or I think else may come for me again. Uh, for Fend, that such a thing could happen on holy ground. You know the man wanted. You know what they need to think about his guard possession? A short sword for all Garlean infantry. This is Garlean steel, which means the man who was watching Mark was was. It's to camp drummer once when some of them more flames before more Imperials come. Uh oh. Oh hey. I fondly hoped that I might be the first to speak with you. Would that I had been so fortunate. At ease, adventurer. I come not on behalf of the Empire. On the contrary, I mean to revive the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. And to that end... I have come in search yep. of a legend. The greatest engineer of our time, Master Sid Garland. I have come for you. You know, I didn't check if the little, um... Staff was still on the wall of the waking desert. I fear you are mistaken, child. He is but a poor soul who bore witness to the horrors at Cartano. I beg of you, leave us in peace. Wait, I... Because he heard the name. <sighs> Hear me, Sid. Eorzea needs you. Not being mind control, is he? Well, no. Is he gonna pull back the hood? Can you grab a big? Oh, never mind. Uh, Sid, was it? <laughs> Here, these belong to you. I thought you bore the mark of greatness. It seems that I was right. Our time together was all too brief, but it felt as though my son had returned to me. You have brought joy to an old man's life. But it is time for you to help those who truly need you. Who are you? Alfino Leveilleur, at your service. As a scion of the Seventh Dawn, I stand against our primal and imperial foes, as my grandfather once did. I wish I didn't actually you know who your grandfather was. It is no secret what befell our order at the Waking Sands. Word has already spread across Eorzea. The repercussions are far greater than you realize. In the wake of the Calamity, the three city-states focused their efforts solely on reconstruction. Leaving the Scions to combat the primal threat unaided. And lo, we are all but destroyed. Yet even as the nations mourn our demise, and abandon what little hope they have left, we cannot forsake our duty, now least of all. You got the primal slayer right here. The Ixal have summoned Garuda once more, and she torments the people of Kurthus as we speak. Her appetite for destruction far exceeds that of other primals. 
Worse, in her present incarnation, our Baldessian colleagues believe she surpasses both Ifrit and Titan in strength. Yet, therein lies an opportunity. Were we somehow to defeat Garuda, it would serve as a warning to the other beast tribes that even their mightiest gods can be felled. If we are to face our foe, we must first circumvent the tempest that shields her sanctuary. And for that, we hmm. need an airship. Your airship, Sid. Do we still have it? I... I have an airship? Yes, hmm. Sid, you do. Your very own airship. It was last seen in the skies over Gridania, not long before the Calamity. So let us begin our search there. Uh, an, an airship? Uh, my airship? Oh, wait. It's gonna be in different clothes. Yep. Oh, you just had this stuff the entire time, huh? Come, let us put an end to the primals. Together, we will show the world that the Scions are still a force to be reckoned with. They need my airship. They need me. Oh, that's right, the little thing. Oh. <laughs> Wait, whom's? Um, is it you? The egg. What? Oh, wait. Oh, that's why. He and Kerry can obfuscate uh, Father Elias here. Man is yet he makes no note of it. Death begins death, especially in those places where privation is a sovereign. A chorus left on is a rich field to Vulcan where there may sow pestilence and water in their m in miasma. No provision of barren is in lost hope. A man may die upon the. What's out there and go unclaimed for no time's buying these unhappy foes. Folk together except become misfortune, their home minds are no more. And there's still some open minds, so my must. For presence, the air begins. Lead us uh, respond to that dinosaur. You need to be level 36. Thankfully or unthankfully, that's going to be it for this episode, though, so enjoy the city, you know what to do.